Okay, so we're going to talk about making a 3D Blu-ray now. The first thing that we need to do is to take our project that we're going to do and we need to render it in the MVC format. We want to click here where it says Sony MVC and we have a choice whether we're doing this for the internet, memory stick, and then here down here we have our Blu-ray. So we can decide what we want to do. And here's our MVC. Now it's 25 megabits, but it's 25 megabits variable bit rate up to 40 megabits per second. Now we have a choice of the three standards, 1280 by 720 at 60p, or 1280 by 720 at 50p, or 1920 by 1080 at 24p. For this one, I'm going to do it for 60p, and I'm now going to render it out. And as soon as that's done, we're going to open this up, DVD Architect Pro, and show you how we make a 3D Blu-ray. We're in Sony DVD Architect Pro, and we're about to start our 3D Blu-ray. Let's go to New. We're not going to save any changes here. Uh, we're not going to make this a menu based. We're going to make this a single movie, very simple, Blu ray disc. Go down here to your drop down, and we need to go down to AVC 1280 by 720 60p. And we're going to go forward with it and say OK. Now it's looking for the file. And now, as we go through, we can rename this and call it My 3D World. There we go. You can preview it right here. You can fast forward it up, skip forward, pause, close that down. I have this set to my external monitor right now, and if you could see my external monitor, uh, which is an LG 55-inch 3D TV, you'd see that we're looking at 3D, and the LG automatically knew that it was 3D and activated 3D mode. And now all we have to do is click Make Blu-ray Disc, and we can prepare and then burn. So let's prepare first. Uh, it's going to create an ISO. We can change that title t to My 3D World. You don't have to make an ISO. Um, you can just go ahead and leave it and just burn it directly to the disk. But we're going to go ahead and set this up just to show you how this works. You can optimize this. You can make it as big as you can make your default video rate 40. It depends on how much room you have on the disc. And this one, since it's a very short one, we just made it that way. And you notice it says My 3D World. There it is. We optimized it already. So our maximum bit rate here is 48. So it's actually giving us more uh, than what we expect from it. And now we're going to say OK and finish. And there it is preparing. It's just that easy. If you have a Blu-ray in there and you want to just go direct to burning the Blu-ray, you can do so. Uh, when we get done, we have a finished product that's ready to put into any 3D Blu-ray player and play. And that's how easy it is.